Hi, welcome back to our sub chapter 1.1 that is in the topic of laminar flow in circular pipes. So, previously we have looked into the formula of to obtain the average velocity at a specific point in any cross section. So, now we are going to look into the maximum velocity. So here, when we have the cross-section of the pipe, so we know that the center of the pipe to the boundary of the pipe is the R, capital letter R radius, and then point from the center point to the X location is measured as R, small letter R. Okay, so now when we convert this cross-section area to the side view area, we know that we have the maximum velocity at the center of the pipe. And then the velocity will reduce as it moves nearer to the boundary of the pipes. So, to measure the maximum velocity, we know that the previous equation described the variation of the velocity across the pipe cross section. And then the velocity variation is parabolic in nature. So the maximum velocity occur in the center of the pipe where the R is zero, where the R, where the radius from the center to the X location is zero. Hence the maximum velocity is R square over the formula times with the D over the X times with the P pressure plus rho GZ. So that will give the maximum velocity. Now we look into the formula of flow rate. So the flow rate can be determined by integrating the incremental flow data Q through the analysis radius of R and the thickness data R across the flow from the R equal to 0 or R equal to R, R small letter R, that is the from the center of the pipe to the X location measured, okay, equal to the R, the radius of the pipe. And then we know that the basic formula for the flow rate is Q equal to velocity times area. So now we know the area, formula for area is 2 pi r square. Right? And then formula for the area, analysis area. Okay? So Q equal to the, we integrate this formula and at last we will have this equation. So now we simplify the equation and it becomes equation 7. So Q equal to negative pi over 8 mu times with d over dx plus pressure plus rho gz in the bracket. Alright, and then times with the radius power of 4. So now we are going to calculate the average velocity for laminar flow in scalar pipe. Okay, so we have the V can be computed by Q over A, the basic formula. And A is the cross-section area. So we know the area of the circular is pi R square or pi D square over 4. So what is it D? D is the diameter of pi. And then by substitute, substitute the Q equal to AV in the equation 7 previously. So we can get A equal to pi R square. Alright, so Q, uh, V velocity equal to, alright, so negative, alright, so pi over 8 mu times T over the X. Right, plus uh, times with the P pressure 
plus rho g z times with the r power of 4 over the pi r square. So now we simplify this equation and we get the formula in this blue column. So we get r square over pi mu times d over the x okay, times with your p pressure plus rho g z. So, what is the relationship between the average velocity and the maximum velocity for laminar flow in circular pipes? By comparing the maximum velocity and the average velocity, so we can eliminate some of the some of the parameters. Alright. And then what else that may remain? So it only have right. So this is eliminate, and then we have uh, four over eight mu. So when we have four over eight, so it is one over two u maximum. All right. So the average velocity in pipe is used to half of the maximum velocities that occurs in the center. So that is the relationship of the V average and the U maximum. Alright, so we will continue with the pressure drop for laminar flow in circular pipe in the next video. Thank you.